In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up email alerts in TradeStation so that if you're working or uh, you need to be alerted on when a certain price level is crossed, you know, you have a way of doing it if you're not sitting there at your computer. So you would start with a chart, let's say on SPY, you want to be alerted if price comes down and breaks through this trend line or touches this trend line. So the way you would go about that is you would right click on the trend line that you've set up already and you would go over to the alerts tab and if it's not already checked you would check enable alert if it's the first time you're doing it it would be unchecked and you would have to enable it and then before we get down to the messaging part, let me just give you one uh, warning here. If you leave this box checked alert continuously and you set up for email alerts, you, your email box will get flooded with emails every time that line is touched. So if price happens to come down to the line and go through it and bounce back and go through it and bounce back, you, you will receive an email every time it, every time it does so. so you may want to choose either once per bar interval, depending on what time frame you're using, or just alert once. So I'm going to leave it for once per bar interval for now, since I'm on a 78 minute chart. And then we're going to come down here to where we configure the global messaging preferences. So you come down and check email. And then you have to configure so TradeStation knows who is sending the email and where it's being sent to and whatever the information is about your internet provider. So in this box, you're going to be putting your email address. And in this box, you're putting the same thing. It's also going to be your email address. So what you'll have is you'll have an email that in the in the title box, it's being sent from you and it's being sent to you and it's just going to be how you'll recognize it in the notification box. And then when you come down to this part where you need the SMTP server name or IP address and you and you need the, the port number and some of this information, what you have to do is you have to either find it out from your service provider or TradeStation does offer a help file. Let me bring that up. And for example, if you were using Google, it would be the server name would be SMTP. All right, so we can copy this and come back over and paste that in there. And then if we go back, it was port 465 and the protocol was SSL. So let's take a look back. SSL is checked and 465. Once you have all this set up, you would just hit test and TradeStation will send a test email uh, to confirm that it's working properly. Now, sometimes you'll get this message, login required by server. If you do get that, then what that's going to require is for you to check this box that the server requires authentication. And then you would put in whatever your account name is, which could be your email again. whatever your password is, and then you would run test again and you would receive an email. And then after that point, and after that point, what would happen is every time the line would be crossed intraday, uh, in either direction, you would wind up with uh, an email generated and you would still get the pop-up that you know you configured to be either a beep or a message down the bottom of your screen. All right, and it's as simple as adding a line. So let's say you wanted to get an alert if it broke through this line, but maybe you also want an alert where it comes up above and breaks out above this line or this, uh, this price level. So let me bring this down so we can see it a little better. All right, so it's 219.50. Let's say if it broke above 219.50, you also would want an alert because maybe you're not in this trade and you want to consider getting into the trade if it breaks out above that level. So once you've put the line on the screen, it's the same thing. You go to alert, you hit enable alert, and once you have this all set up and configured the first time, you can have it save as default and you won't have to fill in this anymore. So you would just be turning on the alert or turning off the alert because you might want some lines on your screen where you don't receive the alert. They may be just there for your drawings. So you wouldn't want every line sending an alert, but there might be specific lines that you want an alert to be sent 
and those you could have the alert box enabled and then you'll get the email message. All right, so I hope this video helped you. It can be a very big help for people that are working during the day, or even if you're doing some other things during the day and you want some type of text message alert sent to you so that it, it gives you a warning so that you can act in case something's going on that, that uh, you need to attend to. <music>